everyone, I'm Vanetta from The Handyman's Daughter and I'm here to show you a quick home improvement project you can tackle in just a few minutes. We live on the opposite coast from our family, so the guest room gets used for weeks at a time when they come to visit. Inevitably, somebody forgets to pack their charger for their phone or tablet, or they have too many things to plug into the outlet next to the bed because the phone chargers monopolize all the sockets. So today, I'm updating these ugly almond outlets with the new Leviton USB wall charger outlets. Not only will it free up a plug, but devices actually charge faster when they're plugged directly into the wall. This particular model features both a USB-A and C ports, so no matter what device our guests use, they're covered. A huge thank you goes out to Leviton for sponsoring this project. Let's get started. After shutting off the power at the circuit breaker, test to make sure there's no electricity at the outlet. Then remove the wall plate and unscrew the outlet from the box. Make sure to follow the instructions provided in the box when installing your new outlet. If you're unsure about any part of the instructions or you're uncomfortable doing your own wiring, please consult an electrician. This outlet wasn't leaving without a fight. Even after unscrewing the terminals, the wires wouldn't come out. I clipped the wires, then removed about a half inch of the wire insulation from the ends. The new Leviton USB outlet was easy to install. Just remember that black wires attach to brass screws and white wires match up with silver screws. The copper wire goes with the green screw on the bottom. Make sure all the connections are tight, then push everything back into the box and screw the new outlet into place. The two-part wall plate covers up the hole with no visible screws. Then turn the power back on and check that the wiring was attached properly. Now these bedside USB outlets are hooked up and ready for our guests in all of their devices. Don't forget to check out more tutorials like this one at thehandymansdaughter.com. Thanks for watching.